Antimatter reactor is always a plus. You know, to be honest, I think I can start looking into the possibility of refitting my ships, that take my Hornets, and especially look into taking out that damn battleship. Where is it? Okay, Citizen has been built, and we need to, yeah, spies. I need to start taking the spies seriously. And that will take two turns so I can get a handful of spies. At the very least, to start defending. So, I have a fleet down here to respond to any threat. Not a big fleet, but at least it's better than nothing. I have no clue. I have no clue where that battleship went. Okay, there it is. Oh god, it's a taste for resources, so they want my back to root. Back to root, if I remember correctly, is for my growth, maybe? Oh my god, they have antimatter reactors. I need to try for that. So that way... Oh, what am I, what am I saying? I could trade for that with class 3 shields, maybe. No, actually, it's the other way around. I want class 3 shields so I can get the fighter shield, so... It's kind of the other way around. I was over. I was getting too excited there for a moment. Pay no mind to me, please. I think it is safe to say I want to start investing in at least gain my fighters some better weaponry for when I do eventually get to them. I just need to give something of that's fair. I'll give them some you know, psychology because that would actually help with. That would be. That's. Mm, eh, what am I trying to say here? That would actually help somewhat with tolerance, so. Not too big of a deal. So, there's the battleship. And they got two new Corvettes since then. Ah, it's coming after me! Help! Help! Help, help! No rift! So, where's the rift? We actually have two rifts now, so I think that bugged out is what happened there. But at least now I have a fleet prepared. It's just a question of where are they going to go? Well, chances are they're going to go after my uh, fleet that I had built up, if I were to be perfectly honest. I need to start getting everything going. There's so much. I have so many different worlds now. I need to start keeping track of everything. Almery Belt. I can't remember what I had built there. I think that was also the Citizens. Oh, it just built the Arco Belt. That's what it was. So, or the Arcology. Ah, I forget how to pronounce it because I don't see it here. But at least I can start building up some of these military antennas and all that to help keep that going. So that way I don't start suffering penalties for my command points. And right now, my sensor arrays are kind of in their territory. Hopefully they don't get pissed off because those are in there. That would be a massive uh, issue if because their territories expand. Because there's no way I can actually move these arrays. So that would be a massive issue. In that case, if they, as soon as they start pushing their territory up to where my sensor arrays are in their space, that keeps pissing them off until eventually it gets to war. That would suck a lot. And that's not good for us. They want Lewis too, huh? And they don't even see any value for it. So they want that plant there, even though... Hmm. What I am getting out of this is I need to deal with them soon. The cucks, that is. They want Corsi, and they, again, don't see any value in my worlds. At least the Cordrasine are happy. They just want my tech. And they want the proximity mines, huh? And God, they got so much tech. 
They're going to be scary to deal with. Let's see, that is 6,000. So I need another 700 from something. Actually, I need something that's of a little more value. What can I give him that will boost up? Urban infrastructure, that's for happiness. I don't want to give him too much else. And they are militaristic too. That will help keep positive relations with them. And I got my class 3 shields like I want, so now I can get the fighter shield. Okay, moment of truth, guys. We're gonna end off this war by finally taking on this damn battleship. Can I do it? I have no idea. With three cruisers, a good handful of corvettes, and several frigates, it seems possible. Especially since their cruiser is pretty much the same as it is. The corvettes are all missile based. Some of them don't even have shields, so they're easy threat. They're easy to deal with. Eh boy, I am scared. I'm all, if I were to be perfectly honest, it's probably it's irrational, but I'm more scared than I was trying to fight those six cruisers by themselves. But we're gonna do this. We're going hard more mode, no saving or nothing. We're just gonna get through this. Ha! And they flee. They know my fleet's coming to get them. Come to think of it, yeah, I need my... I need troop transports anyway to kind of... kill that fight or conquer that last world anyway, so... let me do that as well, since I'm making my way to them, regardless. And I'm gonna need more freighters built up, too. So any world that I have... I have plenty of profits actually. I can lower the tax and get production built up again. Gotta be careful about doing it too much though. So they want to trade. I heard a warning, so that's probably from the Master Fleet. They want my pollution resequencer again. So what can I trade for that? EMP torpedo sounds fun. But I'm going to have to give them something more valuable. Because that will work out well. Because from what I understand, EMP torpedoes are slow as hell. From what I've seen with the Master Fleet. So. I'm going to have to find something good value. There we go. We can trade evenly there on that matter. That should be good. Yeah, I can disable entire ship. Holy crap. I'm right on top of them. So what's this warning? Oh, food shortage at Elmer's belt. Oh, that's because of the freighters, is it? So food is an issue, starting to become an issue. So there's an easy way to rectify this, hopefully. Yeah, because since they're not working for me anyway, might as well put them to use. As riotous as they like to be, I'm still going to get food out of them. I might as well build an extra freighter just to be safe. In case the issues are related to the fact that I am... Yeah, it just doesn't look like I'm having issues with freighters, but you never know to be honest. So, Almer's belt. Where is Almer's? It's way down here, I'm pretty certain, right? Oh, and it's, of course, it's getting the one that's getting attacked. It's no longer being, uh, it's no longer running our resources. Seriously, though, I figured they would have came over this fleet. And now I'm out of position. And speaking of which, what is it? Holy crap. So we got three of each. No, we got four of each. So I really need my battle station if I want to deal with that. Master Fleet is still continuing to be a big nuisance, and I need to find some way to deal with them. Alright, guys, it's the moment of truth.
the final boss in the Cux Evasion. Can we take it out? Because this is by far even more powerful than any of the other ships. Because it's got the Noxium armor. It's got upgrade shields and even... Its weaponry is not too terrifying, but it's got a lot more durability to it. And it's really mobile with its fusion engines, so... Let me just start slow-mo so I can get myself moving. Okay, so much for slow-mo, I guess. So we'll have these Corvette consorts defend. My cruisers, as usual. And the frigates will basically attack any targets of opportunity. It's only four railguns, though, or mass drivers. So it's nothing too much scary for a time being, but it is coming in fast. So brace yourselves all, folks. We got a fight in store. I'm going to get my group one set up. Oh wait, I can't even shift click, which is annoying. So I might as well group them hockey wise then. There, that'll fix that problem. I'll have my frigates go after the cruisers. Corvettes are dealt with, so. What I want to do is get as close range as I can with these cruisers. Actually, I'd, these consorts can all go after that cruiser as well. Since they'll be spinning around, they'll be shooting at their cruisers as to kind of get double fire going, so that'll help a little bit. Just get power going to shields because I'm going to need as much durability as possible. Because especially my main max leveled one is taking a lot of damage. And this has enough mobility that I can't actually get on its flank very well. Yeah, it's actually outmaneuvering me just a little bit. And already the shields are down. So I'm taking a lot of damage. The horn is going to have to evade, spin around. I think we're perfectly fine, but still, if I can help it, I do not want to lose this command ship. That's going to be the real test. Alright, we took out all of his escort fleet. So time to get that out of there, and again, I gotta get these things dancing around properly. Let me get make sure my freaks are in good shape. Corvettes are taking a bit of a hit, but that one's got his shields back up. So my command ship is safe, out of harm's way. Shields are down, folks. We're halfway there. We just gotta get rid of the Noxium armor now. And thankfully, it's losing its weaponry in the process. Right side's gone. Front's taking damage. It's running out of power, folks. We just breached right through his armor. Oh yeah. The cucks thought they had a little uh, trick up their sleeves, and y you know what I have to say about that? They can suck it. Because I'm going to take it out as well. I'm not going to do any sneaky shenanigans like steal their final base or planet to kind of win that way. I'm going to destroy everything that they own. Make sure that there's nothing left of their empire. 